great living up here because you get a lot more freedom than you would in cities. You can go on bikes or you can go in the woods hunting or go to the cabin. My favorite kind of hunting is moose hunting. I'm 14 now and the first time I probably went hunting was when I was four or five years old. Everybody in Santa Cove gets a sense of bond and you're so close with your family, it just feels like home. One of the greatest things up here is with the air, like you can smell the salt water, you're right to it. A lot of people take stuff for granted, they don't realize what you got. With an iceberg, we see an iceberg, no big deal. I like living here because it's a pretty quiet place. You haven't got to worry about locking your car or, or your door even, you know. So I moved from uh, Fort McMurray and the thing that I've gained is a lot of trust in other people. There's just a lot more things you gotta worry about back there. Like if you were to go outside or something like that, you have to worry that someone might like take you or something like that. Back here, everyone knows each other, so there's no worry about that. You know, they watch out for each other, especially me. You know, I got animals running all over the place. You know, they don't seem to say much about it. So <laughs> we even got calls four o'clock in the morning. And they said, oh, your horses is over by this person's house or four o'clock in the morning. They had, I had to go get up and go bring them back. <laughs> My ancestors, uh, they were the first people here. Fishery, that's all they had to do. This used to be all fish flakes all down along here, wharves and boats. But recent years, our cod fishery has been dying. Everybody has been moving away because they see more than fish in their future. Some stuff that's difficult about living on the Northern Peninsula is you can get like your basic fruits and vegetables. You can get like oranges and apples and that's really it. You can get most of the vegetables though. Well, Flowers Gold doesn't have half as good as healthcare as St. John's because we always got to go in there. There's not a lot of like stores or like things to do like inside. It's more like, you know, go on a bike or, you know, whatever like that. Three years ago, I bought the Flowers Island in Flowers Gold there, and I'm going to turn it into some kind of tourist attraction. Well, Flowers Island used to, is, is a unique island because it's the only lighthouse the actual lighthouse or a lighthouse keeper stayed in. I don't know if you can see up there is what they call Yankee Point. Uh, that's the closest point to Labrador. Nine miles across there. The Labrador current comes down and it's so cold that it just sprays in here all the time. I figure my summers, I always figure six, six weeks from, from the middle of July to the last of August. <laughs> I work at GMP Crafts. I've been sewing for 26, 27 years. I love working with seal skin. They've always wore seal skin. My husband still wears seal skin boots to this day. My great pop hunted seals and so did my pop and then my dad does now. We've been hunting there for over 5,000 years. People who come here and see all this, some of them are so easy to judge us saying that oh, it's a sin, but they don't know what it's like having to live like it. Like, if we didn't have some of the clothing and stuff, like, we'd freeze. It's so cold up here. There are about 8 million seals up in the North Atlantic, and a lot of those seals pass by the strait. It's a really important local resource for us. It's just a lifestyle. It's part of who we are is what we do. This is St. Barnabas's Church, and it was built in 1919. And Ken Richards wanted to build a church, so we got the locals to make them seal skin boots. Our bark tan boots, they wore them the same as you wear rubbers because they were waterproof. Back in grandfather's days, like they wore boots. Like mom, my mom, my grandmother, my great grandmother did seal skin boots. It's been for years. My grandmother did boots for the skin boot church and my mother-in-law did boots for the skin boot church. They are a source of pride. Everybody that wears them, they're you're proud to wear them because it states where you're from and it shows that the people in this area are like their talents, right? If I could change anything, it probably, mm, I don't know what it would be actually. I just like it the way it is. You go in the city, you're, I guess you're kind of lost in the crowd. <laughs> Nobody knows you're there. <laughs> You'll hear people say, oh, I can't wait to leave here. As soon as they leave, they go somewhere, oh, I love it here, I love it there. But give them three or four years, they all want to come back. You know, it's just something, I don't, like I said, I don't know. You got, almost got to be here to, to figure out what it is, I guess.